Hey everyone, how are y'all hey. doing? I'll wait a couple minutes and let people get in. It hasn't sent the notification yet, but I realized that oh. all the times we don't talk while we're waiting for it to go live, it's actually still recording that, so it looks silly on the replay. So we're gonna just talk our way through it. Still haven't got the notification. Yep. But we'll wait for some people to come in and for the notification. I see there's nine in here now, but like I said, I don't think it's gone out yet. There hey, it is. Hey, Stephanie. Yep. Hey, Steph. Long time no see. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But uh, she's good. Are y'all as exhausted as we are? It was a very fun weekend, but we're tired. Oh, there's Amy with a Leonard Mountain. Neil. That's Dean. Oh, Dean. Oh, that was Neil. I'm sure, surely Neil will pop in because he was saying all night the other night how he was missing your smiling face and he needed a dose of Abby. Mm. Oh. There's Cowboy Short says, howdy, friends. Hello. I guess you're getting your voice all rested up from reading all those books. <laughs> a lot of kids had a lot of good times. Yep. Yep. Cowboy Short, he came to the expo and read to the kids. Each day. Yep. Even had to yell one time because he's having to talk over a generator. Yeah. But he worked his way through it and got mm -hmm. it done. Yep. Kids had a parade for him over to the... Kids' corner. Plus, <laughs> Farmer Rhett kept him on his toes. <laughs> Might be Cowboy Red after that, though. Hey, Satin. Let's not rattle. Is it empty? Or is it just because it's all metal? It's all metal. Okay. And halfway empty. Hey, Satin. How are you? Oh, oh Kason, Braley, and Addison. You want to say hey to the kiddos? Because they're usually not oh, on here. Because usually we're later than this. Hi, Bailey. Hi, Austin. And hey, Kason. Yeah, we decided to change our time up a little bit today. We missed last week's because we were at the expo and it was super busy. And so we um, had to jump on after Nick and Zoe's and before Brandon's later. So yeah. we decided to take a probably about an hour time slot rather than two hours and hit in the middle. So... If y'all hadn't already heard, then y'all get something else to look forward to. Because around nine, as long as nothing happens, you'll get to see Brandon. But I know they've got some weather out that way. But I don't know if it's how close it is to them. There's Christy Jones. Hello. Hope you got all rested up after you made it home after the busy weekend. Yep. Yep. There's Nico. Yep. Take and roll. Yep. We'll give you a present. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah. Bet y'all are tired too. Yeah. <laughs> I think every, if anybody went to the expo, I think they're all tired. Yeah. And like I said, it was, it was debate for tonight, but we decided to go ahead and hop on since we didn't make, make last week's, but yeah. Did we did enjoy we, the expo? Did y'all enjoy the expo? Yeah. What was your favorite part? What was your favorite part? Your nose? I don't know. You don't oh, know? Okay, I didn't know the that. kids' corner. The kids' corner. Bounce houses. <laughs> in the kids' corner. <laughs> yeah. And the best part. Yeah. You yeah. get to see Mazzy. Yeah. Like she got to see Mazzy. It had been a while and actually got to see her day early because we went up a little earlier than what we or before the expo. And so they actually got to see each other on Wednesday night, which mm -hmm. was a day earlier than they because we figured we'd see them on Thursday. Yeah. But the expo didn't start till Friday, but and then you also got to see Egypt. Egypt. And who watched you part of the day? Mackenzie. Mackenzie. Yeah. And uh, and Red. And Red. Yeah. And Zoe. And Zoe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we got to see a lot of old friends, make some new friends, mm -hmm. become better friends. Yep. Just a great time. It really was. And friends, oh, friends. Friends. Oh, there's Meg's little house. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah. Oh, if you're already ready for bed now, we can start the yawn counter early. You'll probably be yawning when y'all get started. 
hopefully you and Brandon keep each other up though to make it. Because like I said, I know it's a busy week. So I know that um poor old Brandon on that radio it was Brandon, Brandon, Brandon. So he he got his steps in early on this weekend. Mm-hmm. That's what I forgot. I was with I was working the gate with some people, and that's what he said. He got a notification. He already had his steps in for the day. So early. It was, it was pretty funny. Let's see. Sandy. Oh, well, thanks for stopping by. We're yeah. glad. Like I said, we glad we got to meet you. We got to meet a lot of people and like I said, a lot of good people and like yeah. some people that were subscribed to some new subscribers. And it was just it was an all around good time. Yeah. There's Scott. Good evening. Good yeah. evening to you too. Oh. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Present. Yep. Yep, Chestnut Hills is here. Yep, Cowboy Short read a lot. Yeah, he said he read multiple times both days in his booth, too. So. Yeah, that's what he was saying, that he'd read so much that his neighbors probably had the books memorized, too. <laughs> but the kids, I'm sure, all enjoyed yes. it. Yes. Plus, you had some little gifts to give away, and mm-hmm. looks like you sold some good books, too. Yep. Well, there's your Momo. Hey, Hi, Momo. Oh, there's Mary. Hey, Mary. Said, hope you have a good trip. And your seeds will go out tomorrow. We were we were going to try to get them out before, but then since we left a little bit earlier, it just didn't work out. We weren't able to make it to the post office, so we'll get them to you. Oh, Dean saying hello to the Eddie kids. Yeah. Yep. He's yes. I just got ahead of him. It's a great event. I'm happy we went. Can't wait for next year. Yeah, same it is, here. It is very neat. Like I said, it was busy. Like we were busier this year than normal, but it was a good, a good busy. I mean, like I said, I enjoyed. There's a lot of running around, but you still got to see a lot of good people, meet a lot of good people, hear a lot of good mm-hmm. presentations, and it's just an all around good event. Like I said, if you ever have the chance to go, you need to. Yeah. Oh, hey, Lisa, thanks for joining us. Gail. Hey, Gail. Hey. And I got your um, other email. I'll reply to it later because I got it. Um, I think it was this morning. I don't know, but we, we were busy packing up and stuff and then had to get some other stuff taken care of. And so I will reply to you, though. Oh, look, there's Neil. You better give him some smiles and some thumbs up. He's been missing them. Yep, it's not gonna, there you go. Yeah. Fireworks for Neil. Yay. Oh, there's Peggy. Hey, Peggy. Let's see. Yeah. I can't tell what that is. Yeah, that's a book. Oh. <laughs> oh, there's hey, Tina. Tina. Loma. Hey, Loma. There's Melinda. Too much fun at the expo. <laughs> yes. Yes. Like I said, they it was packed full of events. The vendors were probably double this year what they were last time. Mm-hmm. I know last time it was down like one aisle mostly, and this yeah. time they had the whole thing opened up and all the way out into the big open mm-hmm. area, too. I mean, I don't know how many were there, but it was a bunch. Mm-hmm. And I just thought, and a lot of good stuff, too. Yes. I mean, it was great. Really and cool. what was funny is we actually met a lot of people that are close to us that we had no clue were anywhere yeah. around. And so it's funny how it takes an event like this to realize what's right in your back door because um, a few of them were from Conway, which is just a little ways away. And so. Yeah. Got to do a lot of networking there. Let's see. Oh, there's Faye. Hi, Faye. Hey, Faye. Thanks for joining us. How was it? Yeah. Yeah. Answered that. Yeah, it was. It was great. Like I said, it just gets better and better every year. (laughs) You want to go to bed? (laughs) You're already ready for bed. Not even eight o'clock. You didn't even have to wake up with an alarm no. this morning. Yeah, because that was the thing. Like, we've had... The problem is, I'm a night owl, and... 
superintendent. So were our neighbors. And so we would stay up late and then have to get up early. And so we did not get much sleep at all. But like I said, it was worth it. Worth every minute of it. Neil said he's here for his dose of Abbiness smile treatment. <laughs> the tired smile. Yeah. Um, Izzy needs to go to bed, but she wanted to show you her cup that she bought at the expo with her own money. Yeah, the girls had taken some of the money that they had either from birthdays or working or chores or things like that. And so they bought some stuff. So she bought a little Highland cow or calf cup. Mm -hmm. I brought this to um, what's it called? It it keeps it cold. Thermos. Thermos. Yeah. It says simply blessed. Yep. Izzy, whenever we were working vendor check in on Thursday. Yeah. Yes. My days were running together on Thursday, and Izzy got to see the ladies setting up the um table that had all these cups and she went over there and picked out what she wanted to buy Friday morning we had to get up extra early and go straight over there and we were their first customers of the day so she could get the Highland cup she wanted but she had backup she had a second backup a third backup and I think a fourth backup if she didn't get this exact cup but she got the one she wanted did you say about the alarm Oh, no. <laughs> the, the funniest part is she told me before in bed, she goes, I need you to set the alarm for one o'clock. I was like, why? She goes, because I've got to be the first customer there and get that cup before they sell it. I was like, sweetie, they're not going to be open at one o'clock. in the morning." <laughs> but we got up at five and, or a little after five and made it work. But that's the great thing. Like I said, our first job that we did for the volunteer was the vendor check in. And what's great about that is. You get to meet all the vendors, help them find their spot. But then, nope, yeah, Izzy says night, night. She's going to bed. But you get a sneak peek at everything that's going to be there before everybody else. And so it's really nice getting to see that. Well, this is the second year we've done vendor check in. And so that, it's a really fun thing, and especially since we got to do it the night before the event. Because before we were doing it, we did it the morning of. And so there wasn't quite as many then, but. It was still fun. Like I said, it's just this year there were a ton more and we were just, it's amazing. It's just crazy how fast this has grown and how much it's grown. What was your favorite part of the expo? Seeing my friend. Yeah, seeing your friends. Yeah. We might have already covered that. But yeah, ours is, like I said, it's just the whole atmosphere all together. It's hard to pick out one part because, like I said, there's good people, good vendors, good food, good speakers, and it's just, it's just a good, safe place to be, and it was really enjoyable. Uh, Tina said, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. We appreciate it. Girls ready to go back to school tomorrow. Well, actually, the girls are homeschooled, but the school they, the school district here, they don't go on Mondays anyhow. So either way, they wouldn't have had school tomorrow. But we're going to probably let them off tomorrow. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. If not, they'll probably just do some in the afternoon. But I think the way we figured it, cause they did it part of the week of that would have been spring break for the schools. They worked part of the days before we left. So um, we'll most likely let them have school off of school tomorrow. Did you meet some of your friends that you normally don't see? Yes. Yeah, yeah we got to see all the ones that are from the east well i guess east of us but mm -hmm. like nick and zoe and nico and natalie yeah and then some of the others we see more often like um the walkers the eddies um marie from random oki mm -hmm. we we see them like at the auctions and stuff like that and so we see them other and then we get to see some of the stokes not all yeah. of them but like i said we stayed so busy that we just had to catch people when we could but yeah. It was great. Oh, Lindley. Lindley said hi. Um, we didn't get to that before he went to bed. Let's see. Her favorite part was her best, best friend forever, forever bracelet. 
What was that? Oh, oh, the the um elastic bands. The oh, the, the which one veggie give, tails. Which one of y'all gave her the veggie tail bracelet? Not you. Okay, it was easy then. <laughs> okay, yeah. Oh, it was me. Oh, was you? Oh, you're so out of it. You don't even know what you did. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she, they can thank Cowboy Short for those. Mm -hmm. He he hooked them up. We got to go, since we were there early, we actually went to his actual bookstore yeah. in Pryor, and they got to load up on some books, see his store, get to visit with him. So that was yeah. a great time, too. Yeah, his plus, bookstore is really neat. Yeah, and plus, he knows the town of Pryor in Oklahoma like yes. nobody else. Because he, he knows the history, and it was just, it was great. We enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. got Enjoyed getting to visit with him, because like I said, it was nice getting to do it there because it was a calmer setting because at the expo, there's so many people in and out that it's just hard to, sometimes it's hard to visit because whenever you're just sitting there to talk and you have somebody coming up, you don't want to just keep talking. Like we like to step away because we're there visiting and stuff and we don't want to take away from their sales or things yeah. like that because they're there to run a business and also meet people too and yeah. talk. But were you, just, were you leaving her? Oh, she wanted to show them what all. Oh, okay. I don't think we need to show Izzy's books because <laughs> Mackenzie looked like Mother Duck walking around with eight kids with her. She sure did. Yes, and we were thankful for that. Yeah, because like I said, the the girls were around. She had a crew of her own, and she's like, "Hey, do you care if they go with me?" And she had the whole crew, and I, I think they had a good time. It was better than just having to sit yeah. with us and watch the presentations or things like that so mm -hmm. we were very appreciative that she was there and willing to to take them all but yeah and we just like how well all the kids get along yes i mean yeah there is some bickering from time to time but it's almost like they're siblings yeah but or cousins but maybe they're cousins they, yeah. but, but for the most part they all get along and then like i said it, mm -hmm. it's just great it's just she told me yesterday she was like i just need to like tell everybody that i'm the youtuber babysitter next year there i was like go. yeah you should i was like and and get paid for it yeah <laughs> <laughs> do you want to show me books that you bought oh. well, i okay. have can you survive the adventures of perseus it's a choose your own pack book. it's like it's like do you have a bow do you have bow and arrows and then, and then Depending on what answer you pick, you go to a different page number. Yeah. So that was one of them she got. I have a new the Thank the Cow Dog book. Yeah. Yep. Cowboy Short said that was one of the new ones. And the movie I love. Yep. A Chronicles of Narnia book. And the book I read. <laughs> they had a new dog man book. That's one of her favorite books, and she had it read the same day she bought it. Probably within about three hours. She read, she was up to chapter, chapters. she's up to chapter seven before we left the bookstore. Yeah. There's 16 chapters. And then. What is the solar eclipse? Yeah, since we're that's in the path the of totality of the solar eclipse that's coming up, and um, she got that so she could learn about it. And then we got a history book on the signers of the Constitution, because she's. She's big into history and the mm -hmm. Constitution, so this is a book that tells about all the people who signed it so that she can study up on it and have it good for good reference material. Yeah. My Almost, favorite one. Oh, good. Name the other one. What? I forgot what it's called. Oh, this one? No. Which one? Hang on a second. She's forgot what book or something. No. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay. Okay. Loma said she's exhausted. She had to mow a bunch. Well, oh. we got home and the grass is, yeah, um, probably about calf high. So yeah. we're gonna need to mow too. But I think we're expecting rain tomorrow or storm, so it's probably not gonna happen tomorrow. But yeah, it's gonna be on the agenda for this week. Got a few things to move though because we've been doing yes. some building and projects, and that's still yeah. Kind of in that yeah, area. we have some stuff to move, but also the chickens and stuff that we've been moving mm -hmm. around are loving that the grass yes. is growing like it is, so it's really nice. Yes, Mackenzie was a boss yes. for all those kids. Okay. Still my rubber band bracelet on, Abby. Oh. 
I just took my three off a little bit ago. They tried to give me one, but it was starting to cut the circulation <laughs> off. So they're I, a little small for. Well, some of them were small. The one they had was some of them were bigger than yeah. those, but the one they had it was a smaller one, and so I told Izzy that I couldn't wear it. Well, there's the Stanley family. Yes, it yeah, was, it was good, good to see, see with y'all. Got to visit for a little bit, and it was just nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, I was I, just watching. Yeah, we just started that a little there. bit ago. Mm -hmm. Saw a little bit of it in between the, the break. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, Stokes made it to the mm. event Saturday. Look. Yeah, we missed y'all. Like I said, I just I, Saturday. Do I? I said hi to him. Okay, so you saw, <laughs> but um, we were eating lunch. Okay, yeah, it was just crazy, yeah. and Saturday, like I said, running all over the place. So I didn't see a whole lot of anybody. Say, you you were free for like an hour, so yeah, yeah, it was yeah. So in that time, what we did is we ran through all the vendors to see the ones that I didn't get to see. Mm -hmm. And so that was the, oh, and got lunch during that yeah. time. Oh, and that hog fry was so good. Yes, yeah, they had a Cherokee hog fry, and that was great. And the price was great too yeah. for what it was. Um, like I said, the there was a lot of good food there, but like I said, that was just something that we'd never had before, and so it was just really nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Ed, I was going to catch up with you on Saturday because Kimberly told me that I was needing to see you for a minute, but. Then I, I just heard you went fishing, so it didn't work <laughs> out. So we'll have to catch you at another event, or maybe we'll holler at you when we're going through Georgia sometime. But, yeah, I meant to catch you back up with you, but like I said, by the time I got free, it was later in the afternoon on Saturday, and so it just <clears throat> yeah. didn't happen. But I am glad they got to visit with you for a little bit on Friday. Yeah. It is always great to see friends. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's Susan. Hey, Susan. Hey. Oh, that made me think of it. Also, it's in the description, but we've got our website is still in a work in progress, but we have it live enough that the shop works. So if you're wanting to order merchandise or shirts, then you can. Yeah. Not to pressure anybody, but I know we've been holding off, but I got it good enough to work. And the reason made me think it because Susan had placed an order. So that's what, whenever I saw your name, it made me think to, to remind everybody else that that's live now yeah. that, and available. And it's got the color options and the sizes and everything mm -hmm. on there. <clears throat> the Homestead Carver. How are y'all? Thanks for stopping in. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Oh, Dean wants to see a laser show. Show him a laser show. Which one? Huh? Which one is it? Oh, we are like 20 minutes behind on comments. <laughs> I feel like... We got so caught up in... Yeah, I feel like Brandon, it? but he has like 500 people to deal with. I'm going to try to get caught up. I'm going to start two hands like this. Two. It wouldn't thumbs go. down, thumbs down, thumbs down, like thumbs this. There ah, you go. there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Did you do the hands? Oh man. Okay, so let's Find just them. see if we can bust through there. And when we get caught up, we will start <laughs> talking again. Um, not, yes, they we actually met them on Friday, Friday night, Friday night, yep. and went out whenever we went out to eat. So. Yeah. Yeah, got nice to see to them. Meet new people. Which I had seen some of their stuff before because they I don't know remember how it happened, but they were in my feed. And so I'd seen their stuff before. I just never met them. But yeah, we got to meet them. Um visit with a little bit on that. Like I said, it was it's good to meet new people all the time. No, yeah, behind on the chat. <laughs> yes, a <laughs> lot. For the behind, smile. But like I said, I'm fixing to fly through this. <laughs> Another <laughs> smile. They said around a hundred vendors. Yeah, nice. like that. I didn't know how many. I just, which that seems right because I know on like the A side there was like thirty nine mm -hmm. up to thirty. No, it might have been forty something. It and on the B something. side, it was thirty something. I and then you had twenty something outside. Yeah, because there's yeah. There's so yeah, 
And there were, I just know there was a bunch. Mm -hmm. It was multiple pages worth whenever we were checking them in. Yeah. Let's see. Okay. <clears throat> Always good to meet new neighbors. Yes. Yeah. It was yes. very busy. Yeah, like I said, we apologize to anybody we didn't get to see because, like I said, we were, there was a bunch of people we saw. But like I said, a lot of it might have been as I was directing people in and telling them where to go park. But yeah. like I said, because I got to see a lot of people that way, but it's not you don't have time to talk when you're doing that because it was. It was packed with them, everybody coming in. But like, it was great. Always good to be busy. Yep. Um, oh, yep. He said he's here for the laser show. So. Well, he got to see it now. You got to see that. We're just a little behind on it. Um, Nick and Zoe said, who knew about the Brahms? Mm -hmm. I love your cup. They said, oh, that's when he's even tonight. Good. But not open. <laughs> it's been a while. Um, yep. Let's see. I'm gonna get there. Aunt Zoe said good night, Izzy. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Hey Lynn, how are you? Hey. Did you learn anything from the chicken lady? Lots. The Cassie had a a very good presentation, but the best thing that she has is the gift, uh, it's not really the gift of gab, but she has that, but I mean yeah. she's just very entertaining. She can really draw in a crowd mm -hmm. and it's just amazing. Um, okay, let's just sit over here. Thanks. Oh, hey, Rita. Thanks for stopping yeah. in. She's from Mississippi. Mm -hmm. um, Braylee up there said she loves Stitch, too, Abby. Oh, mm -hmm. I just saw that. So. Yeah, we'll throw that up there so we get there for us to remember. Yep, Abby loves some Stitch. Mm -hmm. Should have seen her shirt. Oh, wait, no. You did. No, you didn't see her shirt. She had it covered earlier. Um, The vendor list is on the Oki Homesteading Expo mm -hmm. web or Facebook page. It might be on the website too. I don't think it has contact, but most of those vendors either have a Facebook page or website. And mm -hmm. so if you search them and have an idea of what they sell, then you can most likely find it. But as for having actual contact, I don't think so. But like I said, I do know the list is out there. Just a minute. Um, oh, okay. Um, she's from the Stein Steinmetz. Yep. Is that yes, yeah, Steinmetz. Um, we are from Arkansas. We're in yeah. central Arkansas. Um, we've lived here. She lived in Texas for a little while, yeah. but for the most part, we I've been from Arkansas my whole life. Yeah. And she has all except for what four or five years? Mm -hmm. Uh ten years. Ten. Okay, yeah. ten. Been married for that long and don't even know each other. Yeah. <laughs> and at least you... I do know her real name. Nick <laughs> learned that from Zoe the other day, or I guess a few weeks ago now, so Oh, missing hangout. Yes, I know. So like with sad leaving every time. Just like we all just need to. Well, it's like that property you shared one time that's up in northern Arkansas. We just need to buy it and have a commune up there. <laughs> yeah, we'll just all move up there and just oh. have our own little thing. Okay. Are you she, going to bed? She's going to bed. She's exhausted, and this is not normal for abs. So you can yeah. tell that we had a long weekend. <laughs> all right, we'll be right back, or I'll be right back. Yep. I'm going to try to fly through these comments and get us caught up. Okay. But... okay. Uh, oh, yeah. She said it was Abby, but Abby remembered. Tornado warning in Jefferson County. Thanks for the absolute. Absolutely. We are always happy to do that. Because, like I said, I know last year, whenever you were there, Abby was drawn to you. You were really good with her, and you've been her book buddy ever since. Um, Stanley Electric. This is how we did it, because we don't have five kids, but how we volunteered with two kids. The first year... The, we just they knew that we had kids with us and they worked on our assignment to make sure it wasn't something where the kids would be in danger like we didn't have any parking or anything like that it was vendor check-in on that one and so the kids were kind of contained it finally got where 
we knew enough people around there that knew our kids that we felt relatively safe with them in that building. So they pretty much just ran around there. And like I said, um, Cowboy Short, he he entertained them a lot whenever they were running around there. So generally, if we couldn't find them, they were either at Old Pecan Homestead's goat petting her or they were with Cowboy Short. So that's how we did it the first year. The second year, what we did is uh, we got hooked up with a local babysitter there um, that Cassie hooked us up with a girl that goes to their church. And so we actually paid a babysitter to stay with them at the expo and go entertain them while we were working. And then, so that's how we were able to do it this year. And so we're thankful for Sarah for helping us out with that and for Cassie for hooking us up with her. But yeah, with kids, it can be hard, but if, I guess where there's a will, there's a way sometimes. But that's how we did it is we just, to make it easier where we weren't limited on what we could do, we just, we hired a babysitter to watch them for, mm-hmm. it was a half a day each day that they did. So yeah. worked out really nice. They liked her and she took really good care of them. And then Mackenzie with Chestnut Hills watched them part of the time too. So that worked out too. But yeah, with five kids, it could be tough. Uh, it says find John Millage in, Millage that book. in the book. Okay, we will make a note of that and look. Yep. Oh, the Stanleys got the Eclipse book also. Yeah, we were talking about. She and okay. we were talking about that. Yeah, we saw that. Um, and then just the fact that it's fixing to happen, we're like, we're gonna grab that and see. Yeah, he um he had told them that we had, that they just missed us because they came in like apparently right after we left. Yeah, I remember so. he said that um, they'd come in because I talked to him after that, but yeah. I'm just glad some people took the time to go out and actually see your bookstore because yeah. you can bring a lot to the expo, but your bookstore is amazing and the, the history with it is even better. So mm-hmm. I hope that it continues for years. Yep. And I know anytime we're out there, if your bookstore is open, that's going to be a stop for us. So, oh, yep, don't know. Read a hero granddaughter loves to read as read too. She's in third grade, but reading on levels fifth and sixth oh, grade. That's good. Yeah, Abby is a reader. She loves to read. She's in fourth grade now, but she's a phenomenal reader. And that was one thing on the books that she got. Whenever we were leaving the bookstore, she was reading to Izzy because yeah, Izzy, Izzy got some books that were on her level where she could do little reader books, but then she had some that weren't. So Abby was reading them to her as we were mm-hmm. driving. It was really nice. Oh, you have to tell her that her aunt Carolyn was here. Yeah, I'll tell her in a little bit. We'll tell Maybe her tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, we'll tell her tomorrow. Otherwise, she's liable to bounce back up. <laughs> and she's tired. Let's see. Great book choices. Mm. Every time I roll the mouse over, it fades them out, but that's how I can. Let's just go. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Where'd you go? Let's see. I said two thumbs down because it's raining there. Oh. Uh, we haven't had any rain yet, but like I said, it was cloudy. It's coming. That was another thing, too. We packed for the 70 degree weather that mm-hmm. the weather app claimed they were going to have. Yeah. But yesterday morning was like 30 degrees. It might even been a little bit cold out with the wind blowing. And I about froze to death. Natalie was very smart because she decided to pack a really, really warm jacket. Yeah, but they're from Florida. So, yeah, I mean, even the cooler weather would have been cold compared to what they're used yeah. to. And so like with us. A light jacket should have been enough. Yeah. No, we, I, I was about ready to go get some coveralls, a toboggan, <laughs> all that good stuff. But eventually my body went numb. And then I was like, as long as I don't get warmed up and have to get cold again, it'd be fine. But probably about 11, 12 o'clock, it was really nice. So it's still a little cool. But the thing is, you didn't have to worry about sweating. Mm-hmm. Still 10 minutes behind. I thought I got <laughs> caught up a little farther and then. Oh, she's more how long were we? Yeah. I was 20 minutes. I got it up to 10, but I'm just not gaining. Uh, Nico said that's cool. Oh, there's A and W. We have to meet them this weekend yeah. too. That was fun. She and I got to chat quite a bit. Yeah. Like I said, Kimberly got to do more talking than me yeah. this weekend. Well, I, I guess the people. Yeah. Or 
specific people. I talked to a lot of people, but it was just like I said, a lot of them were visitors and go park this way. <laughs> yeah, or explaining what yeah. to do with their confirmations, how to get their armbands and all that. Like I said, it was a lot of fun. You got to see pretty much get to see everybody that's coming in. So yeah, that's always fun too. You just don't have a whole lot of time to talk because when they're double stacked to the road, yeah, people just want to get in and get parked so they can start the festivities. Yep. Mm. Uh, yeah. Thunderstorms, hail, high winds, tornado. Threat. I hope yeah. we don't get any of that mess. We praying that everybody stays safe. Yes. Yeah. Amy said there was a lot of great vendors. Yes, yes. there were. Oh, they made it home to Alabama. Good deal. Oh, good. Yeah, we made it home probably about between 4 and 4.30, somewhere in there. But we had to come home. We had to stop at Walmart just to make sure that we had some An easy food summer. items and stuff. Because that was the thing. We were so tired. We didn't want to pick up food because we've been eating out mm -hmm. the last few days. And when you're not used to that, it's just, yeah. yeah. But I mean, we ate some really good places. It was good food. But like I said, I was just ready to be home. So mm -hmm. we went to Walmart. It was actually, you know, the, the girls were like, can we just get hot dogs? And so we're like, that's super easy. That's so fine, yeah. we got brought worse and they had hot dogs and mm -hmm. cooked them in the oven and real easy supper. Sorry, all of the mess is listening while Rhett looked at trucks. <laughs> oh, yeah. Rhett, or yeah, Rhett had to see his truck. So that's the most important thing. Oh, so yeah. No worries here. <laughs> yeah. Long time no see. Oh, we're talking about her. <laughs> there you go. Yep. Yeah. It's like your yeah. ears were burning, so you hopped on. Mm. Candy said, hey, y'all, I'm late. Had to run to Walmart. Yeah. Hey, Candy. We did that earlier. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thanks for stopping in. Tina. She said, oh, good, you didn't tell the truth. <sighs> See, I don't that, even remember what we were talking about. <laughs> that's the <laughs> only problem with being behind is now I don't know what I didn't tell the truth about. <laughs> So now I'm going to have to remember I was like 20 minutes behind where I was talking to you about about you and then I'll go from there. But yeah, I'm going to get caught up. I'm going to try. Like I said, I just, I don't, I feel bad for Brandon because like I said, people talk about him getting behind, but he's got 500 and we're at like 50. 40, yeah. So yep. I just can't even imagine. Last that year, yeah, guardian dog class was top notch. Ten out of ten recommend if he's there next year. Yeah, I that was one we that. wanted to go to, and there was a couple others that we just didn't make. But like I said, I don't remember what I was doing at that. I, I think what... I was working whenever that one was going on, and you were in the. Oh, I was in the time. other yeah. event center. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I was working, and he was over there, so we didn't get to see it. Yeah, so like in the afternoon, I was working. I was the MC assistant in the west. Mm -hmm. Um. West? No, East. East, east Hall. Yes. I had to thank for me because I was like, no, that was East. And so all the afternoon ones, I got to hear all of those because that's where I was assigned. Mm -hmm. So that was nice. Yeah. But then, like I said, uh, I missed it. But then on her, um, she was doing sales at the same time. Yeah. So we missed some. I didn't even, we had a plan to like divide and conquer at first. Yeah. But when it got to it, I mean, like I said, we just enjoyed doing the work yes. and it was fun anyhow. But we didn't even like look at the list to see what was mm -hmm. what. We just went and did what we had to do. Yeah. Like I said, wouldn't change it. No, it was great. Mm. Best thing I learned is to use rubber water bowls for the chickens when it involves ice. Yep. You just got to flip yeah. them over and stomp on them. Yep. Kind of like you do your eggs if they're too dirty. <laughs> uh, Lori. Hmm? Oh. Lori, hey, we finally got on early enough. It wasn't past I your know, bedtime. That's great. I'm glad you were able to stop by. Mm -hmm. A lot of fun with you too. Yep. You're a real hoot. Yep. I got, oh, I had it down here. <laughs> okay. He does a lot of accidental thumbs up. Yeah. Well, it's just because I had my hand sitting like this. Yeah. But oh, <laughs> okay. But yeah, Lori is a lot of fun. She's funny and I you never know. know when she's recording though. Yeah, you gotta you gotta watch her. She's always looking for that that next video. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. She's great. We all yeah. had it like said on Friday night. There were several of us that went out to eat again, and it was we just we had a great time. There's yeah. a lot of laughs. I'm glad they didn't throw us out because we, <laughs> we were, were loud. loud. 
because we had an adult table and the kid table. The kids table was like quiet as a mouse, mm -hmm. and we're over here being loud. And some people might have thought we was obnoxious, but we all had a good time. Yeah. Like I said, I I haven't laughed that much in a long time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cassie said she heard the the livestock guardian dog guy was great, and wish I wouldn't have missed it. That's what everybody. Lots yeah. of people said that, but like I said, there he had a lot of good compliments. But like mm -hmm. I said, we didn't make it, so don't know. You know, he's the rubber buckets don't mm -hmm. break. Uh, people saying hi to everybody. Stanley Electric said smash the thumbs up. Appreciate that. Thank you. People telling Abby good night. And <laughs> we're that far behind. I'm getting, oh no, I'm 11 minutes behind now. I'm getting more. Stanley just got home a little bit ago and are exhausted. Oh, yeah. Yep. So y'all stayed another night too. Yeah, that, that was us. It was just. By the time it was all done, and it just it yeah. wasn't worth the drive home. So, yep. we had a good time staying. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. There, that's the only problem when you have an event this big and this good. There's no way you're yeah. going to see it all. So you just got to pick what you for sure mm -hmm. want to see, and then work from there. And like I said, that they had a very impressive lineup. They've always had a great lineup. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, this year was, like, just super impressive. I mean, it was good speaker after good speaker after good speaker. And they had multiple more stages or halls this time to do it in. And so mm -hmm. it was just – it's great. Yeah. Because I think everybody enjoyed it. And you, if you didn't learn anything, it's your own fault because there was lots of knowledge yeah. there. And if you didn't make it to the class, a lot of the speakers had vendor booths out there so you yeah. could go and talk to them. Yeah. Um, one of them that was really interesting was um, – david with azure standard yes because just his whole history of why they developed the company that they did and how they've gone from it was amazing and so mm -hmm. he he had a lot of great knowledge and i mean it's just neat to talk to him and yes him talking about how they established their whole network of deliveries and all that and it was just it was great plus they were getting a lot of free samples at their booth i mean everything that they brought they gave away yeah. so they and I don't know. Cool. I helped him move his cases out there, and I don't know. There was probably twenty or thirty cases mm -hmm. worth of stuff, and they gave every bit of it away. That's pretty cool. Well, hey Don, glad you stopped over. Yep. Thank you, Nick and Zoe, for sending some folks over. Uh, tornadoes from Kansas to Oklahoma down to Texas. Oh, I hope that they're not bad, but I figured that's the storms we're supposed to be getting tomorrow. Yes, Meg. Everybody that's in the path of storms, we're praying for safety. When the hell damage? Goodness. Hey, Debbie, it's nice to meet y'all this weekend. Yep. Yes, it was. Loma's in East Texas. Living in Abundant Grace Homestead. What? I missed it. Up there. Oh. Hey, y'all. Thanks for stopping in. Appreciate it. Zoe said she wasn't prepared for the cold. You were a little yeah. more prepared than me. I saw you carrying a blanket out there. <laughs> I didn't have a blanket. Yeah. I thought about stealing somebody's blanket. And I actually <laughs> thought about telling Kimberly to go in there and find somebody that's selling blankets and buy me one. Yeah. But like I said, after I went numb, it was okay. But no, <laughs> it was fun. If you stayed moving a lot, then mm -hmm. you were still cold. <laughs> uh, let's see. They said, FYI, the warm moon is tonight around 3 a.m. can see the sun partially covering the moon. I just read about what? that a little bit ago. Never heard of that. That's interesting. Yeah. 3 a.m. I don't plan on being up at 3 a.m. But if I wake up. If we hadn't have been so sleep deprived before, <laughs> I would probably do it just to see it because. Yeah. Or we might be up. I mean, sometimes we're up till 3. Not very often because mm, she usually falls so. asleep. Yeah. But I'm a night owl. And then I still, even when I have to get up early, I have trouble going to bed on time. <laughs> yeah, my kids, I call it, I got orange toboggans for us to go hunting. And they're like, what's a toboggan? I was like, a beanie. Oh, I was like, but a toboggan's like, it's not like the beanies, I think, are the smaller, more fitted. Like yeah. a toboggan's a big old thing you pull and you actually mm -hmm. keep warm, not just for a stylish thing. But yes, toboggan. My favorite Southern thing I heard this weekend, though, was Rhett calling Sprite, Sprite. It was great. Yes. Yeah. The cutest thing ever. I loved it. I think my favorite part about Farmer Rhett 
was when he was giving Cowboy Short a run for his money. Yes. I was thinking, Cowboy Short, you may not be quite the cowboy you thought you were after talking to Rhett. Because he, they were reading the book and he was giving him a run for his money, but it was hilarious. He's just funny all the way around. Yep. Uh, 12 hour trip. We only had three and a half, but yeah. it was still. Mm-hmm. I, I'm glad we didn't have a 12 hour trip. Me too. I'm glad you made it home safely. Though. Yes, for sure. Bounce house looked fun, but I wouldn't. Have... <laughs> 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 That's funny. Uh, Stepped in. Oh, yeah. I forgot y'all were stopping in Cabot. Oh, yeah. I remember y'all saying that. that. Yeah. Not too far. I guess a couple hours from us, but mm-hmm. still not. Maybe an hour and 45 minutes. Where I said I'm not. Oh, somebody's spelling her name right. Oh, yeah. Uh, Tommy and Curtis. What? Oh, Tommy and Curtis. Good evening. Hey. Hey. Tom, no, Tammy. Tammy and Curtis. Oh. Wow. Well, I was reading over here, but it's bigger. That's yeah. right. A lot of times when I click them up, I can actually read it better because it's so small. So we've got the computer pushed back because whenever we have the two girls, if it's up close, it's too much. And so it's hard to read. And usually I have. YouTube up on my phone to read the comments, but I don't have the comments up on it. Plus, that's Facebook. So, Tammy yeah. and Curtis. So, yeah. thanks for stopping by. Yeah. <laughs> they have F three fifty. Then Daddy wants really bad. <laughs> well, maybe they need to take you back to Atwoods and keep you busy while they go and pick it up <laughs> and surprise you. Everybody needs an F three fifty. Let's see. I tell you, but you'll see it 30 minutes later, be confused again. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, about 10, but yeah. yeah. Yeah, we're still staying 10 minutes behind. Going to have to go to the store tomorrow. I was too tired this evening. Yeah, we stopped and just got a few things. I mean, it was I've so, got to do big grocery it was so little we were able to actually carry it out. We wouldn't even have had the cart yeah. to carry it all because. No. <laughs> At least you're yeah. not letting your feet into a Toyota Camry, Nick. Hey, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Exactly. But I like what your plans were for your farm truck. Mm-hmm. What I do is start at the bottom, just ask people if they had something to say, just repeat it. Oh, yeah. Let's see, we're already way behind to get up to that comment. So. Dean said, "Watched Eddie do, Eddie's do their interview. I didn't get to fin- to watch that one. I saw it pop up on the feed, but I didn't. I mean, I watched them from afar, sitting up there yeah, doing it, but I, I wasn't close enough to hear it." Hello, Roxanne. Hey, Roxanne. Thanks for stopping in. Yeah, yeah. We got quite a few new folks on Facebook. Mm-hmm. Like I so said, we're trying to do more with Facebook. We've we've been bad and neglected it, but it's mainly because. For a while, we neglected everything, and so we're yeah. like, let's at least be steady on one, yeah. and then we'll work on adding. So we're trying to get Facebook caught up with YouTube by posting the old videos, so we'll mm-hmm. eventually we'll get it caught up, yeah. and then we'll try to do better. She said, Nico, that's or whatever it takes. Mm-hmm. So now you'll have to watch to see just what I actually did record. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know I turned around one time yesterday and I saw the camera and I, I smiled, but I don't know what, what you'd recorded before that. Uh, that one. Good evening. Hey, Tammy. Tammy. Thanks for stopping in. Uh, Laura's not one of the people that has a camera behind the bushes, is she? Uh, no, no, it's usually right here on front of her, but you just don't know if it's on or off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, she's got her eggs in the incubator. Awesome. Got home about 2.30. I picked up Braley from Nana and Papa. Went straight to the ball field. Y'all got home at 2.30? And scrimmage and then picked them up. I know what time y'all left. 2.30. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. <laughs> Good thing you weren't in Arkansas. No. <laughs> no, that would be about right. Because ours would have been a little yeah. bit lighter than that. And y'all are a little bit closer than us. But we stopped too. and picked up food. And we also stopped at Walmart. So. And Dr. Spy. Yes. 
ask you how many eggs okay. Cassie got. Yeah, I don't know anything about that. I know people brought eggs. <laughs> okay, we said that. Yeah. Hi. Hope I'm not in the path of the storm. Uh, we're supposed to have some storms tomorrow, but I don't know how bad they're supposed to be. But hopefully, it's not bad. <laughs> By the time you read this comment, it'll be nine. Nope, 15. only eight twenty. <laughs> yep. But we did read it. Yep. Just be glad we got there before we quit. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm fixing to um skip through. Cause see what <clears throat> Stephanie does is like I said she'll start at the bottom and then like mm -hmm. sometimes she reads up and then they meet in the middle, but. And then they just have to jump down to the bottom, but you're not helping me out. <laughs> I'm trying to read up top because you're skipping stuff. Um, okay. Good night, y'all. Yep. Y'all get some rest. Neil's probably just hiding. He's probably still here. Like the fact that we said his name like 20 minutes. No, only. Oh, we're only five minutes behind now. We're getting caught up. Mm -hmm. He'll probably pop in. Yeah. Uh, she has to go, so I have to be back. If not, she'll serve her hunt. Okay, Tina, thanks for stopping in. You're probably already gone by now, but if not, have a good night. Yeah. And the Eddies will be on later at yeah. 9, so you got a chance to come back for them. Ed said oh. time to put the meat on the grill. All right, Ed, see you later. Yeah. Have a good evening. Thanks for stopping in. Yep. Thank you next year. Me versus Barbara. I don't know if you want to take that match. I don't either. <laughs> That's going to give him a year to grow. Mm -hmm. We may not be able to handle him then. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Dane says, I do very little on Facebook anymore. Too much trouble downloading. Uh, yeah. Sometimes. Oh, there's Donna Smith. Justin sent her over. Thanks for coming hey. over. Oh, there's Marie. We were talking hey. about you earlier, Marie. Ears may have been burning. Yeah. That's probably why you hopped on. <laughs> now, we're just talking about how much fun we had on Friday night at the cottage, and we're just glad we didn't get thrown out. Yep. Hey, Kimberly got her a good <laughs> nap in, too. <laughs> yep. So it's almost like a time portal. You go to sleep when you leave, and you wake up, and there you are. Mm -hmm. So you don't have a clue how fast you got there. <laughs> oh, there's Sierra. Thanks for stopping Hi. in. We appreciate it. I think I saw her on Nick and Zoe's okay. earlier. Or I heard her mention her name because I when I, I'm always on YouTube whenever mm -hmm. I'm watching folks, so I don't always see the mm -hmm. Facebook stuff. Oh, I had you nervous? I would. I would wake up and be like, "Nope." <laughs> <laughs> oh me! I just didn't wake up. I've got so many comments I would say, but I'll keep to myself. <laughs> right at a YouTube speeding ticket. <laughs> He was in Oklahoma. Yeah, it couldn't work that <laughs> way. Maybe next time. I'll catch him on his trip to Alabama. <laughs> Need to get together with everyone again soon. Yes. yes. I agree. Yeah, we may have to have a summer on the prairie instead of Christmas on the prairie. That's a good idea. Yes. Yeah, because that would be a lot of fun. We could all get together, have a big cookout, mm -hmm. just have a good old time. Yep. I remember that was, that's one thing I liked about Christmas on the prairie is it was a thing that it felt even safer. Like I said, yeah. there was lots of times I didn't have a clue where our kids were. I just knew they were somewhere on that 60 or 80 acres, however many acres we were on. I just knew they were somewhere on that and they were with somebody that knew them. So it was just nice being having a relaxed time where they could run play. We could actually visit with the adults rather than mm -hmm. just without having an event that has to have, I mean, there was events and stuff going on, but it wasn't like, Everybody had something that had to be done. And so it was just, that was a good thing. We enjoyed that. Yep. We were glad to get to see you too. Yep. It was fun. Uh, I think I could move my mouse over there. I know. Or just click on each one. We'll just read them over there instead of. Yeah. Lori had said, Stephanie, you know, I'll make it to your live. Huh? But then Stephanie had said, Lori, I don't know if I will either. Uh, <laughs> Dane said I'll have to go watch Random Oki's Farm premiere after this Oh, yep I didn't know as they were doing a premiere Whoops Rick. Yeah, we kind of threw one in an oddball time Just because we missed Because yeah. it would have been Friday night But by the time we all left the cottage And went home, it was just late and we didn't do it So mm -hmm. We kind of threw it at an oddball time That we don't normally do 
I think I have to visit with Lori for a bit. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what? And then Dean said, I thought y'all said Murray was the one causing all the trouble. <laughs> <laughs> she might have been, but we didn't say that. <laughs> no. <laughs> Need to work on a video I've been slacking this week. Yeah, we gotta finish some up, but mm -hmm. like I said, we wanted to stop on here for a bit since we hadn't mm -hmm. we missed last week, so and we didn't want to just wait till Friday again, so we figured we'd jump yeah. on. Uh, Christmas on the Prairie is an event they have at the Stokes Family Ranch. Uh, it's kind of like a fundraiser thing for their school lunch program. Um, we've got a video on it. If you go back to it, it would have been in November that we posted. November, December. November, December. Or very first of December. But I think I've got Christmas in the Prairie somewhere in the title or mm -hmm. thumbnail or something. But yeah, you can kind of get an overview of what it is. But it was really nice. It was great. Was thumbs up again. <laughs> good night, Susan. See you next time. Oh, yeah. Good night. Oh, hey, Lisa. Hi, Lisa. Thanks Lisa. for stopping by. Vendor selling the sourdough starter. Uh, well, and he's already off, so I don't know how. Yeah. We'll have to find out more later. Yeah. So, Ed, if you go back and watch this later, remind us we're going to ask yeah. you about that. Uh, he's got time to train for farmer. <laughs> <laughs> You'll need it because, like I said, yeah. I, I walked over about halfway through and I was just cracking up because, like I said, yeah. he had an answer for everything mm -hmm. you threw at him. It was great. <laughs> it was very entertaining. <laughs> I was I recorded Cowboy Short, which I I need to send I need to send some of those videos to you, but um, yeah, I, I was like, well, everything's him talking to Farmer. Yeah. So. <laughs> um, Sierra, we are from Arkansas. Yep. We're in Central Arkansas, not too far from Conway. Yep. Dane said we got in some trouble Friday night. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, book choices. Oh, yes. Uh, Lorna? Lorna. Lorna from, from Canada. Canada. Hello from Canada. Thanks for joining us. I guess hello from Arkansas to Canada. Yeah. <laughs> but hers is from Canada. So, yeah, thanks for stopping in. We appreciate it. It happens sometimes. I try to act right. If that was you trying to act right? No. <laughs> Well, no, we, like I said, like we, we were saying earlier, we laughed so hard. I can't remember how many. Laughed so much like over those few days. It was it great. It was great. Lots of fun times. Favorite seminar. Um, I loved, I, I didn't get to see a whole lot of them. Um, Joel Salatin was great. Um, Sourdough, the Sourdough one was really yeah, good. Yeah, Whispering Willow. That was, yes. that was probably the one. That I enjoyed the most that I was shocked I didn't have any idea because I, I that wasn't on my radar of anything to see because I mean we've done sourdough mm -hmm. and stuff before, but she was she kept everybody involved and I mean it was she was a very she's, good speaker. She's local to us too, yeah. and that we was didn't one really of them that, realize. That was one of them that we found out is right in our back door at Conway. So we got to talk to her and her husband yes. a little bit afterwards. So it's pretty cool. <laughs> I don't think it's because you're so cool. Glory so cool. I forgot what it was for though. Okay. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Stephanie said, Can I go to bed now? No. You're not just getting started. Yes. We're just the warm up. Yeah. You can get you a 30 minute nap. Oh, hey, there's Jamie. Hey, hey Jamie. Jamie. Thanks for stopping in. Yep. Uh, Loma asked if Cowboy Short has a page. Yes, he does. Cowboy I, Short reads. Yes. Let me see if I can do this without messing everything up. <laughs> oh, wait. Yeah, he actually has a page where he reads books on YouTube. Mm -hmm. And it's really nice. Yep. Yeah. Okay, let me figure out how to do this from here. <laughs> oh, wait, I can just copy this. I was gonna say I usually do this from my phone, but I'm doing it from a computer. Okay. So I'm gonna post a link. Y'all go check him out. And also
Hang on one second. I'm getting something else too. Uh, that's personal. That's not what I'm doing. Okay. Oh, he's, yeah. Awesome. And I think that's right. Mm -hmm. Hang on one second. Let me make sure. Yes. That's and right. here is a link to his bookstore on Facebook. So y'all yeah. can check it out, see his actual bookstore. And if you're ever in prior, stop by and see him because he's got a book about everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep, there's Jamie's message. Uh, Lori said I gotta go Oh, understand, thanks for stopping yeah. in um, Jamie said I was so jealous of y'all getting to go to the Okie Homestead Expo Yeah, it yeah. was so much fun You would have had a blast yeah. too And you would have been laughing hard Just yeah. like us It was full of laughs And like I said, it would have been fun Getting to catch up on, catch up with all of our friends was wonderful. Yeah, we're going to have to plan something where everybody can get together like that, like the Creators Conference sometime. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Bella's Whisper Farmstead. Hey, thanks for hey. stopping in. Um, let's see. Jamie said... Oh. I'll go next year. This year we didn't think we could both get away. Next year I'll bring the Morrow Hill ladies and we'll road trip it. That'd be fun. Yep. Y'all will definitely enjoy it. Like I said, there's it's just a lot of fun. Yep. What time is it in Arkansas? It is now 8 31. And I said we were stopping at 8 30, <laughs> but we're just now starting to get caught up. Yes. Here shortly we will be done, but because we're only a couple minutes behind. So We'll be wrapping it up here shortly. Uh, let's see. Lynn said Zoe was thinking about getting the sourdough starter at the expo. Yeah, we she was she sold out of that pretty quick. Mm -hmm. Um I but think. she ships too. Yes, she does ship. Um it may be dehydrated when she ships it. I'm not no. sure. But it's still you can reactivate mm -hmm. it. But like I said, we've we've started our own multiple times and we actually have done a gluten free one, but it's just I don't like gluten free bread. Yeah. And so it didn't last long, but we're going to try some other things and see how that goes. But yeah, it's definitely worth getting into. Okay. Zoe did get it. Huh? Zoe did get the starter. Said she had to have it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Okay. Leonard Mountain Homestead bought some books from Cowboy Short, too. Will she, will she do a video with the starter? That's yeah. I'm Zoe needs to do a video yeah. using the starter. And we'll all watch it. Lorna said, I think I found you through 7-Eleven Animal, Animal Heaven. Heaven. Okay. Okay, cool. Well, thanks for coming yeah. by. We appreciate it. Jamie said, I'm considering a big event for all the women YouTubers slash farmers to host too. Or host too. Much work to do on it, but it'd be fun to get together. That would be fun. Yeah, except for the guys. What are we supposed to do if it's just for the women? Kids can stay home with you. <laughs> well, what are we supposed to do for fun? No. <laughs> we'll take our own trip. Me and the girls. Go to the beach or something. Maybe no, I'll be in Oklahoma somewhere. Yeah, I don't really care about the beach, so probably not going to do that. Oh, yep. They read. Yeah. Yeah, everybody go subscribe to Cowboy Short Reads because yep. he, cool. he's doing a lot of good things that are good for the kids so be sure to do that and like i said if you need a good book shop locally get yep. from him i think he ships i'm not 100 percent on that but he can if not he may start shipping now <laughs> so i'm just gonna say he ships and then he'll just have to start if he doesn't but no i'm just kidding i think he does but i'm not sure robert hey. mac media kimberly told me she yes. met y'all and i, I never got to i planned to but it just did not work out and yeah I because she, she even described what you looked like. So if I ran across you, I'd see. Yeah. She said y'all had to leave that day. But I was going to try the next day. And I, I never did find you. But I was running a lot the next day. Yeah, too, I was going to say, he wasn't really free. But for more than, for more than, well, I guess at the end of the day, you had like 30 minutes after you got done. Yes, so yeah. Like, and that's when we made But we were day. just, yeah, yes. mad dashing it through the vendors. 
Yeah, because a lot of them were already starting to pack up at that time because it was right before it was going to end. Mm -hmm. uh, she said she's not sure. Yeah, I think so because he did. Um, he went out to eat with us that night and shared mm -hmm. all of our pages. Mm -hmm. Oh, tornado warning and sulfur. Oh, yikes. Uh, okay. I got it now. Um, uh, I'm in Jamie and be happy to help any way I can. Yeah, I've got to go where I'm going to be like some of those speakers at the expo and I'm going to run over my time and into somebody else's. That's why I built a buffer because I didn't want to yeah. say we we're going to end at nine and then Brandon be like, hurry up and get off. Uh, let's see. Yes. Okay. If you go to the expo, I found you through 7 Eleven. Yes. Yep. yep. We were at the expo. Yep. It was great. Yes. And if you weren't there, you missed a lot of fun. We have the Okia again next year. Okay. We will cool. too. Yeah. I mean, unless something crazy happens. Yes. We... But yeah, we have no plans to miss that. Nope. Being said, I need that book on the Constitution. I used to know it, but now I can't remember half of it. At Walmart. Oh, yikes! Well, he better hurry. You're what here? Down and then up. Oh, <laughs> hey, guys. hey, Kevin or Rachel or Kevin and Rachel. <laughs> yes, yep, we made it home safely and just telling everybody about the great time we had this weekend. And yeah. We appreciate y'all for going through all the work to put this yeah. on because we just a little bit we see, we know it's a lot it's, of work yeah. and it takes a lot for somebody to be willing to put something mm -hmm. on like that. And y'all have done a great job and both we appreciate you stopping in. Both of y'all's names got called quite a bit. So yes, <laughs> we yeah. know y'all are exhausted. Yeah, I figured um about halfway through the first day, y'all were ready to change your name on the radio. <laughs> I guess I should have said Big Kevin. Hi, Big Kevin. <laughs> yeah, since definitely. no, we're not gonna say the other. Oh. <laughs> uh, All right. Thanks, Lorna. Yep. Let's see, Leonard. Oh, yeah, they got so cups too. Yeah, they had lots of cups. Yeah, we wound up getting three total because I got one as well that I had had my eye on last year and I just didn't go back and get it. I need something to my credit card. <laughs> <laughs> Random Oki Farms when the flowers are blooming. It looks beautiful. Yes. The videos I've seen. Yeah, hopefully the storm's not bad out y'all's way. Like yeah. Said, maybe. Maybe the warning is just one of the radar determined ones, and there's not actually a tornado you'll have to deal with. Oh, circle and stables. Abby, be sad that she missed you because yeah, she she still talks about how much she loves that name. <laughs> yes, Brandon and Stephanie are great, mm -hmm. but so are everybody else. That's yes. one thing we can definitely say. So far, all the people that we've met and like have gotten really good acquainted to are some of the nicest people. Yes. And what you see on YouTube, I mean, is what you get. I yeah. mean, they're it's really nice. And we're we're happy that we've had the opportunity to get to know all of them. Like yeah. that it's it's great. Mm -hmm. The only thing is we're three and a half hours away. <laughs> KG. KG. <Yes. laughs> Yeah, that's not the nickname Stephanie gave. Me, but we won't go there. <laughs> Unless she does. I'll I'll hide her. We'll be putting time out. Don't worry, Stephanie. I got you. Uh <laughs> Nick said I was supposed to say it right too. <laughs> Don't you dare. That's funny. Oh. Did you really? What band? Whoops. Oops. What did you do? I somehow I banned Nick. <laughs> Sorry, Nick. I don't know what I just did, but it wasn't supposed to ban you. No. I, I watched him what he tried to do. Huh? 
Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it says he was timed out for 300 seconds. What? Sorry, Nick. <laughs> Stephanie, that wasn't the intention anyway. No, I don't know what I did, but. Okay. So, Nick, I'm sorry. Yep. That's all I can say, but I don't know how to fix it. But it's not the first time I've timed out somebody accidentally. <laughs> Pudding and Skittles. <laughs> That's funny, Ed. Oh, goodness. Gary from Walker Farm. Yeah. Nice person. Yep. He is too. I don't know how to fix that. Oh, no. I feel bad. Yeah. I know. You have to send him a message. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Goodness. Little Kevin. Yeah. <clears throat> Cowboy Short said he'll send books wherever. The book exchange and the Bible bookstores on Facebook and web. Yep. Yep. Big adventure on our channel. You'll have to come along. Yep. Yeah, you're supposed to be getting goats sooner. Have you gotten them yet? Glad I met this community. I hope we get to talk soon. Being small on YouTube's hard. There's some that may not talk to us because of that. Well, the ones this weekend are... This is what my recommendation to anybody who is starting out. If you... <laughs> okay, Nick, I'm glad you got that fixed because I really don't know what I did. I know. But it She's says so it's bad. only for 300 seconds, so maybe it fixes it. If not, then I'll figure out how to unban people, but I don't have a clue. But back to what I was saying. When you're talking about being small. Yeah. Because we're, I mean, we're tiny. And it, yeah. it has nothing. It's just part of it. It's a lot of work that you just got to work at. But you have to go into it with the right attitude and actually work on building mm -hmm. relationships. If you just go for the shout out or to yeah. see what you can get, it will never work out because yep. people can see right through that. Yeah. And that, that's one thing about ours. We are... Because when we first got started, it was the first Oki Expo that how it all started for us is Abby was, um, what? Oh, is there something? No, oh, okay. I was just listening no, she, to you. <laughs> she loved Cassie Walker and mm -hmm. Dutch. And that's what she said. The only thing she wanted to get out of that whole trip was a picture with Cassie Walker mm -hmm. and a picture with Dutch. Yep. And she got both of those. And it was just that, that the, it hit it off. And we've made a lot of good friendships. And like I said, yeah. that's that's worth more than any subscriber. I'll tell you that. So yeah. you just got to make sure that you're actually wanting to build relationships and not just yeah. get the subs because that's just the way it Subscribers is. Subscribers are wonderful. And we are so glad that y'all joined us on our journey and all that and the, but building these relationships and getting to do these lives and actually talk to you guys is it's wonderful but i, I enjoy it yes i would give up any success or future successes that youtube would ever offer if that if that's what took keep the friendships because like yeah. i said that's we value those a lot more than anything yeah on here and so yes. that's like i said it's YouTube's given the opportunity to meet those people and to build those friendships, but it's just, it's great. And like I said, I did a thumbs up again and we wouldn't want to change it. So that's my recommendation to y'all. But the personal aspect of being small is worth it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. And that's the thing is that also you got to realize too that, um, what? One comment uh, up on Dean. Yes. You got to realize that. You may want those subs, but a lot of times you're not ready for them. And you just got to realize that, too. And you don't want to to rush things because that, that can be bad, too. But mm -hmm. I'm just going to leave that there. But I just wanted to get that out there that mm -hmm. make sure your heart's in the right place. Yep. But it is 844. Brandon should be going on soon. So we're going to let you And Stephanie. Don't forget Stephanie. She said she was going to bed. As she wants though. Plus, she called me a name. Yeah, so, but <laughs> so this is KG and Kimberly signing off. But um, no, we're gonna let y'all have a fifteen-minute bathroom break so that you'll be ready for Brandon and Stephanie. Yes. two-hour 
live. She said it may just be an hour. Eh, they can't short us. We won't allow it. <laughs> Mutiny. <laughs> but no, we appreciate y'all stopping yeah. by. We hope y'all have a good evening. And I'm going to ignore that last comment. And I might put you in timeout as well, <laughs> Stephanie. But it's not going to matter because I'm going to see you anyhow. But thank y'all so much. And make sure if you ever get a chance to go to the expo next year that you do it. Because yeah. you will not regret it. But y'all have a good evening and we'll catch y'all next time. Bye y'all and thanks Bye. for joining us.